going on YouTube? See, we get a, got a bit of a different setting today. We out here on this turn road, not too far from where I stay. I just want to do a quick test right quick. We're going to see if this 115 grain aluminum, I think it's aluminum, aluminum case full metal jacket, 9 millimeter, will continue, continue to carry enough energy through roughly 6 inches of wood to hit the target behind it. I got two 2 by one and two 2 by 2 I think it's 2 by 2 No, 2 by 4 I'm tripping. Anyway, now I got two 1 by 4s and two 2 by 4s Let me just make sure my autofocus is on. Just some little 15 grain steel case. We gonna be shooting it. Back up a little bit. Hopefully, y'all can see me. Then. We are gonna be shooting at the Sky CPX one. This got a three, three point one inch barrel. So I'm gonna see what I can do. Shot right on side of it. And it actually curved off. Try it again. I messed up on it. That one stuck in here. Awesome. I ain't got nothing to take that out with right now. But now we're going to try charge PT-92. This is a 5-inch uh, barrel. We're going to see if that makes a difference. But the second shot on that one is stuck about 4 inches into the wood. So now we're going to see if a 5-inch barrel is roughly about the same distance makes a difference. Nope, that one didn't make it through me. We're gonna try one more time. I'm bagged up a little farther, but. Well, I'm going to let y'all see. It went through one, no problem. Two, no problem. But, as you can see, they go one shot, two shot. They still hot, too. Still hot. And right there, 
Here's a third shot. So, we pretty much caught all those. Of the ones that I thought maybe the three inch barrel, I knew that the five inch barrel would do different, would have different results than the three inch barrel, 3.1 inch barrel. So, you know, as you can see, and I'm trying to see how did I leave my pocket knife? Uh, Oh, I stacked them on top of each other. There's one. See, I recovered one. Let me put this on the tripod. Here's one I recovered. So we actually caught these though. I ain't sure how many shots I took. I think I took six shots. And I can see out of six shots. Oh God. Man, it's hot out here. But as you can see, that five inch barrel definitely, definitely did went deeper than, well penetrated deeper than that three point one inch barrel. So in that case, like I said, the five inch barrel penetrated deeper than three inch barrel, which I kind of figured to do that anyway. Just wanted to test it out. But the water bottle. Is unscathed. So six inches of wood is well actually four inches. But we'll just say six. Six inches of wood is enough to save the water bottle. I'm gonna clean it up. Don't worry about that. Just throw it right there for right now. But when I get home, I'm gonna see if I get those bullets out. Because I somehow left my pocket knife and my screwdriver. But yeah. One projectile, two, three, and four. But as always, like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace. What's going on, YouTube? As y'all know earlier, not too long ago, I did a test with my 3.1 inch barrel, Sky CPX-1. And I also did a test with my five inch barrel, my Taurus PT-92, both chambered in 9mm. Well, y'all know I was shooting at roughly 6 inches of wood. Roughly. I thought that I only... Um, I thought I missed that first shot with the sky, but I actually didn't. So, here's, here's, our, here's, here's our results. I was wondering if that 125... I mean, 115 grain full metal jacket 9mm would carry enough energy to pass through all 6 inches of boards. But actually... I knew there would be a little bit of energy difference and transfer with the different lengths and barrels. But the Sky CPX-1, actually, I actually stacked, I'm a good shot, I actually stacked two bullets on top of each other in that. They were sitting there like that. Yep, oh, let me get, get that out the front. But yeah, it was two bullets stacked on top of each other from the Sky. These made it about, about four inches. I say, they made it, yeah, they made it roughly four inches. But the reason I say roughly, I'm not so sure because the second bullet hit that first one. So it, it possibly pushed it out or pushed it deeper a little more. And then from the Taurus, I got these two, which made it roughly about five and five to five and a half inches. So, 
they neither one had from they from these barrels these different guns with different barrel lists that I had to test neither one had enough energy to push through the six inches but the the different barrel lengths did make a difference the longer barrel was able to increase the well I wouldn't say increase the velocity but maintain more velocity coming out the barrel I think that I think I'm saying it right to yeah so the longer barrel gave it a little more a little more barrel to maintain those speeds before exiting the barrel. I hope y'all following me. I hope y'all hope I'm explaining it right. But yeah, that's just a little test that I had to do. Uh, like I say, every week I'm coming at you with different stuff. You know, try to upload a couple videos a week. As y'all can probably see, see if I can. Uh, it's look like it's about to storm back that way. Up oh, camera. Uh, But yeah, and it's lighting. But so I'm finna get ready to get inside. But as always, like and subscribe. If you like what you see, push that like button. Then go ahead and subscribe. Then turn your notifications on. That way, when I upload, you won't miss nothing. And as always, mud life, peace.